So the first stanza we considered tells how Shirley Toulson's mother had gone to a beach in the company of two girl cousins and this happened so many years back and Shirley Toulson's mother's age at that point in time was about 12 years. The next stanza reads, all three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera, a sweet face, my mother's, that was before I was born, and the sea which appears to have changed less, washed their terribly transient feet. Now, <clears throat> the poetess further describes the photograph, telling us how all three standing side by side stood as stood smiling at the camera as uncle ca tried to capture the moment and if you consider these lines a sweet face my mother's that was before I was born and it says all three stood there still stood still to smile through their hair this is the first sentence is a reference to the extreme happiness the bliss that the moment that the moment brings that the moment supposedly brought to poetess's mother and mother's two cousins and they are smiling they are looking at the camera and and have a very wide smile, the widest of all smile, of the old smiles on their faces. So wide is the face, uh, so wide is the smile that it, uh, as if it, as if the smile extends backwards and seems to touch the strands of hair. overflowing and this is what is meant when it says all three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera the other interpretation could be that the breeze at the sea beach had was blowing the hair and they made an effort to smile to ensure that they were captured smiling by the by the uncle's camera so the mother's face is sweet and this is the innocence of the youth the, ch the childish innocence the innocence peculiar, the, the innocence essential to child. My mother, that is, poetess's mother's innocence is described in a sweet face, in mother's a sweet face. Mother's a sweet face, according to Shirley Toulson, means the innocence, overflowing innocence on her mother, on her mother's face. And this, of course, happened when Poetess was no longer in the world. <coughs> and the lines that follow towards the end of this stanza, Shelley Toulson juxtaposes two things. The mortality of the human beings of human beings and the permanence of the nature around so she writes she writes the sea and the sea which appears to have changed less washed their terribly transient feet 
these lines highlight the impermanence of human of, of humans vis-a-vis -vis the permanence of the nature around so the sea water or the sea has not changed at all whereas mother is no more and in the last line she says the water the sea water that they were paddling wading through washed their absolutely permanent feet absolutely permanent feet without unconditionally human beings are unconditionally they have an unconditional or a definite lifespan so this has to be it, it is uh, using it is using the nature around that is the sea that she describes the impermanence of humans who have a definite lifespan and <coughs> feet that is human beings feet actually represents or refers to human beings are unconditionally or absolutely transient or short-lived so <coughs> the highlight of this particular stanza is the juxtaposition of the immortality or the permanence of the nature around human beings.